Here are eight unintentionally hilarious reports about China. Number one, has China done too well against COVID-19? Too well? I bet the five million people who died of COVID outside China don't think the Chinese have done too well. Number two, China fulfills a dream to end poverty. Not all poor people are feeling better off. So basically, the Chinese feed hundreds of millions of people and the LA Times runs around to find someone, anyone, who isn't 100% thrilled. Number three, China is curing cancer faster and cheaper than anywhere else. But some worry they may be going too fast. Curing cancer too fast? I have no words for that. I mean... Let's move on. Number four, success in containing virus is impeding Beijing's plans for a full return to normal. The FT appears to be arguing that failure in containing the virus would have been the better option. Five, here's a report on China ending poverty. But don't miss what it really is, a political campaign to integrate the poor into the national economy and train them to thank the party. So ending poverty and integrating the poor into the national economy is a bad thing. Whatever you say, The Economist. Six, China's Belt and Road poised to transform the earth, but at what cost? In fact, there are dozens of headlines ending with those four words. <laughs> Number seven, high-speed rail projects in the United States will never achieve the ruthless efficiency of China. And that's a good thing. Yep, don't want none of that efficiency stuff. Number eight, Uyghurs celebrate Eid in western China's Xinjiang region. A source told RFA that Chinese authorities forced Uyghurs to celebrate the Muslim holiday to show that Uyghurs enjoy religious freedom. Oh no, now they're forcing people to do what they want to do. How evil. Question everything. Goodbye. <laughs>